I tagged a doe recently and we get a lot of questions how we process venison. So I just want to share some tips today. So I tagged this doe, you know, field dressed it pretty quickly, skin it, and then I debone all the meat. I don't use a saw or anything. I just take the meat off the bones, very simple process. I put each like muscle group, whatever, in a little thin baggie. It's not like a Ziploc bag, it's even thinner. Twist tie those, put them in ice. That way it's getting cool, but the water's not getting right to the meat. And I'll let that set a day or two, basically till I have time to work up the deer, not four or five days, but a day or two. It's not aging, it's more of a convenience thing. Then I bring it in here and I'll take out a big muscle and I just really flay that muscle out or remove any fat or fascia, the little silver lining stuff you see around a muscle, I remove that off. And the reason I remove the fat and into silver tissue, if you will, is because that's where some of that wild taste comes from that some people don't like. So, Man, you look at this meat raw that's been removed, it's just pure, great tasting, pure venison for your family. Another little tip, boy, this little inexpensive tablecloth liner, I buy it in rows, it's real expensive, a lot of party stores or something will sell it. Just put that down on the surface where you're working, this is in my kitchen, it makes cleanup go much faster. Today I want to make a bunch of hamburgers, so except for the loins, I cubed it all up, about inch squares, inch and a half, I run through my grinder, this is a great grinder so it can handle those bigger chunks. And I use a little bit larger size plate on the front of the grinder. It usually comes with a small hole size, a large. I like to use a larger, I like, you know, spaghetti, burger, whatever I'm making with that little bit larger. Seems to work a little bit better for me and the recipes I like to use. I'll grind it up and then I like to do about one pound packages, you know, pound, pound, couple of ounces. And I use a vacuum sealer to do that. And I label it with the date, and you know, I'm gonna say burger on this, and I actually put which deer was harvested so I'll kind of know, you know, doe number one, two, three, big eight, whatever it is. But I press out the meat about a half inch thick or so, and the reason is that stacks real nicely in your freezer, doesn't take up near as much space or doesn't waste as much space as you know round tubes. Think about round tubes, there's a lot of air gaps in between there. So I'll stack it real nice. And also, when I take it out, those skinny patties, if you will, about a pound, a little bit over, thaw really quickly. If you've got a big ball, it takes a long time to get that cold out of center, but some half inch thick, you can thaw it really quickly and start preparing a meal soon after you take the meat out of a freezer.